Our other top story tonight, notorious mob boss James Whitey Bulger is sentenced to life in prison. His is a story that's captivated the country for decades. He went from the head of the infamous Winter Hill Gang to an FBI informant to one of the FBI's most wanted fugitives before finally being captured after 16 years on the run. And today, Bulger finally learned his fate for running a ruthless criminal operation and participating in the murders of 11 people. Target 12 investigator Tim White was in federal court for the past two days of his sentencing. Tim, what was Bulger like when he heard his sentence today? Well, the word I think I'd use is stoic. He stood and stared at the judge as she handed down the sentence. And the judge's decision means the 84-year-old former gangster who once terrorized the streets of Boston will most likely die in prison. For Thomas Donahue, whose father was gunned down by James Whitey Bulger in 1982, it didn't matter to him that Bulger showed no emotion in court. The hell with him. You know what I mean? He's hurt so many people. He's done so many ratty things. You know, the next time I want to hear anything about him is hopefully he's dead. Bulger's younger brother, John Jackie Bulger, was the only one of his family to be there for sentencing day. Judge Denise Casper began the hearing by reading off a list of names of those that Bulger was convicted of killing. But she noted there are many others that were hurt by his reign of terror. The saga of James Bulger is now finally over. U.S. Attorney Carmen because Ortiz Yes. called Bulger ancient history. James Bulger deserves nothing less than to spend the rest of his life in jail for the, the harm, the pain, and the suffering does he, that he has caused to so many in this town. Bulger's attorneys have already said they plan to appeal, but the sentencing marked the end of a long-running and painful journey for many families, some who say they will never find closure. It's never going to be over because, you know, we have to live with the suffering every day of a lost one, you know, a loved one. Now, Bulger was also ordered to pay $19 million in restitution to families, a largely symbolic ruling as only $800,000 in cash was found in his California hideaway. New at 6 o'clock, I spoke to some family members who say this case isn't over yet. I'll tell you what their plans are. Mike, Susan? As you mentioned, Bulger will likely die in prison. Did some of the victim's family members want to see him put to death? Uh, without a doubt, but uh, for them, prosecutors had to explain that his crimes uh, took place before the federal death penalty passed in 1990. But I can tell you that a lot of the families felt that the best punishment he could receive is spending the last years of his life in a tiny jail cell. He will have that indeed. All right, Tim White, thank you so much. We'll check in with you again at 6 o'clock. And stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the Bolter sentencing. And be sure to check out our website, WPRI.com, for extended coverage, including photo galleries documenting the Whitey Bolter saga through the years.